Hello friends, this is CryptoPump, and I'm here to show you how Dex Screener works. In this video, we will break down Dex Screener, a convenient service that I use to find promising tokens on decentralized exchanges. I will guide you step by step through all its sections, from the main page down to the details, so that you understand how to search for tokens, read the data, and choose projects that can bring profit. We will move slowly and simply, so that even those who are just starting out will understand everything. And so that you're always in the loop on fresh news and market tips, join our Telegram channel. There I share insights that help you not miss the important stuff. The link is in the description, and with that, let's begin. I monitor tokens every day, and Dex Screener helps me a lot, a web service that I open from my phone or computer. It shows which projects are active right now and what to pay attention to. I started working with it on Ethereum, where fees were high, but there were almost no bots, and later I switched to Solana. There's a lot of scam there, but also plenty of opportunities. Want to understand how it works? Let's open Dex Screener together and see what it shows us. The first thing you'll see is the main page. Right at the top, just under the logo, there's a big number. The total trading volume for the day. For example, it might be $4.46 billion right now. It's like a thermometer that shows how alive the market is. If this number goes up, say by 20% compared to yesterday, it means people are actively trading and there's room to move. And if it drops, it's a lull and I usually wait until things come back to life. Just to the right, you'll notice tabs with the names of blockchains, Ethereum, Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and a few others. It's like a switch. I pick, say Solana, click on it, and the token list updates instantly, showing only projects from that network. You too can choose the network you're interested in and move forward. Now let's scroll down a bit. Here we have filters. They help weed out the unnecessary and leave only what we need. The first button is last 24 hours. I click it and the service shows tokens that appeared in the last day. Then I set the parameters. I set the trading volume to at least $1 million. This means the token already has money moving through it and it's not dead. I choose liquidity from $50,000. That way I'm sure the token won't collapse from the first sale. I also set the age to within 24 hours. Fresh projects are often the most interesting and I sort by five minute change to see what's happening right now. When everything's set, I click apply and the token list updates. Now it only shows those that match my conditions and I can choose what to work with. Let's take a closer look at this list. It's divided into columns, and each one means something. The first column is the token's price in dollars, how much it costs at the moment. The second, trading volume, that is, how much money passed through it in the last day. The third, age, how many hours or days old the token is. I look at this data and pick a token that looks alive, for example, with good volume and a bit of growth. Now I click on the token and its page opens. On the left, in front of you, is a big chart. This is like the token's heart, showing what's happening with it. Above the chart are time frame buttons. One second, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour. I set five minutes. It's more convenient to track movement. On the chart, you'll see candles. Green, the price is rising. Red, it's falling. One candle is five minutes of the token's life. Next to the time frame, you can choose the chart type. Line, candles, area. I go with candles. They're clear and illustrative. Further to the right, there's a switch. Price or market cap. I choose the market cap. It shows how weighty the token is, not just its price in dollars. To the left of the chart, a tool panel. Here you can draw. I click on the line. That's a trend to understand where the price is going. Or I take Fibonacci, set levels where the price might stop or reverse. There's also a percentage button. It shows how much the token has risen or fallen over time. Below the chart, a time scale, going from left to right, so you can see how everything changed. And on the right, a value scale. It depends on what you selected, price or market cap. Now let's look to the right of the chart. Here you'll see the token's ticker, its short name like AVA. Just below, links to social media website, Twitter, Telegram. I always check them to make sure the token is real. If there are no links or they're suspicious, it might be fake and I pass on it. Next, let's go under the chart. Here are the token's parameters. The first row, the price in dollars, how much it costs right now. The second, liquidity, that's real money circulating in it. The third, market capitalization, the total value of all tokens. The fourth, price change over one hour, six hours, or a day. I look at the day to understand the trend. The fifth, number of buys and sales per day. The sixth, trading volume in dollars. I check that liquidity is at least a third of the market cap. For example, $30,000 with $100,000 total. If there are more buys than sells, that's also a good sign. It means someone needs the token. Now let's scroll to the tabs below the chart. The first, transactions. I open it and here's what's in front of you. First column, the time of the last deal. Second, type, buy or sell. Third, amount in dollars, how much was spent. Fourth, number of tokens, how many were bought or sold. Fifth, deal price. Sixth, wallet, who did it. Buys are green, sales are red. I click on a wallet. A window pops up on the right with its data. How much it bought, how much it sold, what balance is left. This shows who's trading and how. Next tab, holders. That's the number of people who hold the token. If there are thousands, that's normal. If it's one wallet with almost the entire supply, I get suspicious. The third tab, bubble map. It's like a network of wallet connections. I check for anything suspicious. And finally, at the very bottom of the page, there's the token's creation date. For example, eight hours ago. Next to it, the contract address, something like 7IPDW. I copy it and compare it with the official site of the token. This protects from fakes. On the right, an arrow, I click it, and it takes me to Solscan, where the whole token history is. That's how Dex Screener helps to see the market, find tokens, and understand where money can be made. 
It's not hard if you figure out where to look. Friends, now you know how to use Deck Screener step by step. Want more tips and ideas? Join our Telegram channel and trading chat. Everything there is fresh and useful. Links in the description. Come on in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to CryptoPump, leave a like, hit the bell. See you soon.